Hello, I'm Robert Grant and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. So today we're going to shoot an image like this using a fish tank full of water, some glycerin, some food coloring, and some colored gels. So let's go down to our studio and begin. All right, here's our set. I've got a white board as a background, a fish tank here full of water that I put a little yellow uh, food color in to give it some more dimension. We're going to use a red gel on this side. Just tape it on with some masking tape. And then we're going to use a blue gel on this side. All right. We're shooting with a 10 to 17 millimeter lens uh, at about 13 millimeters. We're going to shoot at 1 320th of a second to stop the action at f25 to give us enough depth of field. And our lights are uh, set up here. So this one is um, lighting through the blue gel and also lighting the background. And the same thing here, lighting through the red gel and also lighting the background a little bit. So let's uh, get our other liquid to pour in here and uh, give it a try. All right, what I'm using to pour with is uh, just plain old glycerin that you get at the drugstore. It uh, dissolves in water, but it'll stay thick enough just for that second to get a really nice cool looking splash. I've added a little more yellow food coloring to this here. Let's just uh, get our strobe done. There we go. Let's do a test splash. Hmm. Do a test splash. There we go. All right, so the strobes are working. And we're gonna just pour. Get my hand on the trigger here. Let's do a couple right away. That's pretty good. Let's go have a look at that. Well, that one didn't have as much color as I thought it should have, you know. It was, it's nice, but let's see if we can add more color. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a blue gel over this light. we we'll put a blue gel on this light. And then we're going to uh, bring a card in here to block this light so it doesn't hit the background. So now we have this light creating a blue light on the background and uh, this white light not hitting the background. Let's try one there. All right, so here we go. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so now we've made it uh, a little brighter by increasing the power on the strobe unit. Um, but not, you could do it by opening it up on your lens as well. Okay, so let's turn on the power pack. Like again, we have the gel, blue gel here, blue gel here, red gel here, no gel there. And we're ready to go, almost. Here we go. Let's take a look at that. All right, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this black card back out of the way so we get some of this white light hitting the background. We'll open it up a little bit and the mix of the gels will make, give us some different colors. So, we're all set. Finger on the shutter trigger here and we're gonna do one. Okay, that looks great. Let's do another one right away. Okay, let's have a look at that. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial on shooting glycerin with water and see how many unbelievable possibilities there are for creative, creative photography. So give it a try and post it here and share your shot. We'd love to see your results. And look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.